The writer of the Hokey Pokey has died three times. He first died in London on April 6, 1984. He also died in Idaho on April 4, 1996. And finally in Kentucky on November 23, 2009. Three men, three deaths, and three printed obituaries mourning the loss of the mastermind behind the Hokey Pokey. In America, Larry LaPrise and Robert Deegan both claim to have independently invented the song and dance in the 1940s at separate vacation resorts. Jimmy Kennedy claimed ownership of it in England, where it is called the Hokey Cokey. Larry LaPrise was sued by Robert Deegan in 1956, and they split the royalties after settling out of court. Jimmy Kennedy gained the rights to the song in the UK after a similar legal battle with Al Tabor. But the earliest traces of the modern hokey pokey can be found in an 1826 poem recorded by Robert Chambers in Popular Rhymes of Scotland. So who do we mourn? Who do we have to thank for this great gift? Many men have been defined by the existence of the hokey pokey. They fought for the glory of putting your right hand in and shaking it all about. But these men are no longer. To be the author of the Hokey Pokey is an ephemeral state. First it is yours, then it is not. The Hokey Pokey has been sprinkled into the ether. Now it belongs to all of us. You put your right click in, you put your right click out, you put your right click in and you shake it all about. You do the hockey pokey and turn yourself around. That's where